Hey guys, what's up? Beast from Beast Toys here coming at you this afternoon. Got got a little mail call. Uh, walked in, I saw this box. If you look closely at the box, BBTS. I thought it was my wife had a, oh, one of those, like, not HelloFresh, but another one of those. Anyway, one of those food things. I didn't think nothing of it. And uh, I looked after I was talking to her and double took and I'm like what is that box and I see BBTS and she's like I don't know I think it's yours and I go and I'm like so fast uh sorry anyway I got boom boom shakalaka so I got uh yeah five of these make it six I had my one sitting here for like the last three months they had this boy for three months I think sitting here got the big lots tag on it so he's going to get opened. He'll be my opener. Anyway, I got five of these bad boys. So we're going to have some extra guards. One thing you don't get in the He-Man universe much is troop builder packages. So anyway, I think that's all that's in here for this time. Um, I got other stuff ordered, pre-ordered at BBTS. I got something else masters from Amazon. I'll go ahead and open that. It's probably banged up. Look what I came in. For the most part, fortunately, yeah, it's a little dinged. This is my, an evil end. I don't know, I may send it back because I just, just found and bought, uh, just found and bought uh, a lot on eBay for like 40 bucks. And I got her, Tila, Man at Arms, and Beast Man. And actually I need all four of those open. And they're all open, but only Tila has a weapon. So I'm kind of like, mm, I could probably live without Evelyn's weapon. The crystal ball or the whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah. See, and they got a freaking sticker on the back of the. Sorry, stupid sticker on the back of this thing. Yeah, I'll probably send her back. I may send. Now, I do have two mermans coming. So I'll probably I'll keep those. Obviously, I don't have either merman. But uh, I'll probably send her. I'll probably send Beast Man back. But. Uh, which is fine. It kind of opens the door for me to grab. Uh, I don't have a ninja or extra ninja or, or Hordak, regular Hordak. So anyway, so there's that. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to consider this an opening for an Eternian Palace Guard. Now I'm going to open one. I'm going to show him off. So here's here he is. This is a new figure um, to the line. Uh, we did not have this figure in the original Masters of the Universe, universe, so to speak. Uh, we did see these guys in the cartoons, but we never actually had them. So, um, little bio says, as a first line of defense, the Eternian Palace Guards protect King Randor and Queen Marlena from outside threats. So, there's some stuff on the side there. Someone had posted a picture of this on a, on a uh, forum the other day I saw and it said, is this Moss Man's hand? Um, I, don't, I don't know why they would have Moss Man's hand on an attorney in guards box, but I could be wrong, but anyway. Love the artwork on these. Love how the, the shiny parts of the box, the masters is shiny. The guards on the back are actually shiny. Your figure when they show up are actually shiny. I think Evil In, yeah. When you look at it, Evil End's the same way. Same with the Masters on the front. Uh, the pieces are... The, the picture of the uh, actual person is... I'm looking for my opener. My knife is... Oh, here it is in front of me. Um, anyway, is the actual shiny one on these boxes when, it's, when it comes to that. They'll have other figures but, or characters. But your guy that you're actually getting, or girl, is the... Uh, the one that shiny shows up shiny. So anyway, all right. Hey, let's open this thing. So this guy, he's been sitting here for three months, I think at least. At least seriously, I bought him in November or in October. I'm I'm wanting to say October. It was I'm pretty sure it was warm. Um, I'm almost ninety percent sure it was in October. I think I was actually coaching a one of my girl, daughter's travel games, and we had a break at a tournament uh, in a town up the road that we were at, and have a big lots there. And lo and behold, I went in and. They had one. It wasn't on the shelf. I looked around. I almost walked out. This is one of those deals that I didn't see nothing. Walked, almost walked out. And then as I was getting ready to walk to the door, I saw a toy table sitting off in the distance. 
And I'm like, ooh, I gotta go look at that thing. And lo and behold, there was one. One. So, anyway, we're gonna open this bad mamma jamma up, though. We're gonna see what he looks like. So, here's the thing. He looks, I mean, you get, you can change him to a man-at-arms, like the original man-at-arms. The, uh, gave, they gave us the original man-at-arms head. So, what I'll likely do is, my plan is, and if I recall, this is an axe that went with Castle Grayskull. Pretty sure. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure what we got an axe like that in the Castle Grayskull uh, accessory set. Okay. So, dude comes with that. Comes with a silver shield. Sorry. I'm setting it up here. Then you can get the man-at-arms, which is another reason when I bought that today that I'm like, man, I'm not really that worried because I can take this one's uh, weapon, I got the man at arms weapon, give it to my new man at arms that's going to come eventually, probably next week. Um, and I think what I might do, kind of a neat, neat way to go, I would call it, but what I might do is take this, take one of these and make him, uh, so I'll, I'll keep, I'll have to take two of these that look like this, or three, take one, this head, and put it on one of them, and call him the, like, sergeant, or whatever. And then now I got my man at arms, the new one with the mustache, so I don't have to worry about, oh, he's got some strings around his legs. Anyway, take the new man arms that I just bought on eBay. That was, I thought it was a good deal. I paid 40 bucks. That was shipped and all for four figures used. Like I said, Tila's the only one had a weapon. She did not have her headdress. I don't care. I don't really never, as a kid, when I had my Tila, I never used the headdress part for her. I never put that on her or whatever you want to say. I, Tila had just her hairdo and that was it. So. Anyway. Oh, got one stuck there. All right, perfect. All right, so, of course, we know, uh, you think about the old ones, no bending. Uh, this guy, his armor, you can bend. He's got a lot of armor, very cool. Like I said, completely, completely new. They gave him a little black hairline in the back, as you can see. They both do, though. He does, too, his plain head. Here's his extra armor. If I want to do the man at arms look, the original one, anyway. But I'm not, like I said, not not necessarily. So, um, cool. Like I said, you can their heads move around like this. So you got that. Um, yeah. So anyway, got an open hand for a shield. They did not change different hands, so you don't get different hands with these. So we can put the axe in this hand. What we want to do for these guards is we want, at least I, what I want to do, is give him the axe, give him the long axe, okay? And we're going to put the shield in the other hand. And now, we're going to fix his feet because they're kind of, one of them was bent down so you can bend them down. That's why I said it's great about the feet and the ankles. You can turn them way different than the originals, way different, or at least a lot more POA. Oh, I'll, I'll get to the POA point in a minute. So here, I'm going to show him off, though. That's how I want to make my guards look. So give me a couple of these. I'm going to open a couple of those. Not right now, of course, not on video, but I'm going to open a couple of those, put them with them, and there you go. So now, what I was going to say is the POA. So for Masters, I'm not a big... I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I love Black Series. Of course, of course, you can move a lot of parts. They're what... 12 points of articulation, whatever, 15, uh, these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then, or well, seven times two, 14, and head 15, so yeah, that's probably about right, 15, 14, 15 points, something like that, anyway, now, thinking back, the original, um, Star Wars figures, I, I just want to say that I, I never had a problem with them only being what, I guess you'd say, what, five POA, two legs, two arms, and whatever. I don't personally have a problem with that. Now, let me tell you something. Masters of the Universe doing this, having 14 POA, best thing ever happened to that line. Um, 
these figures needed more articulation and they needed to get away from the rubber band in the inside. Now, G.I. Joe, I would say, um, I would personally hope they do go back to O-ring style because I love the O-ring style. It really comes down to the figure for all these guys. That's what it is. The figure, the brand. It's what it comes down to. What works? You look at this, Mattel, it works great. The, the multiple POAs. Black Series figures works great. Vintage Collection and Star Wars, I don't know. To me, sometimes I'm like, you know what? You should have made the Vintage Collection like what the Retro Collection is. I'm really looking forward to the new Retro Collections coming out. The Mandos, um, really, they are cool. I like the last ones they came out with. Um, I'm glad they did the remakes. I wish they would remake all what was it, 83 or 89 or whatever, 90-some, 93, whatever the original 90-some were, including the Power of the Force that they came out with. I wish they'd remake all of those. Um, of course, you're not going to get them for 2 or $3 like you used to, obviously. You're going to get about 10 bucks a pop. But hey, I think people would buy them now. So what I'm saying is, yeah, this works. Masters works. Some figures it doesn't. G.I. Joe, Hasbro needs to desperately go back to the o-ring line and like actually make them just like the originals like literally just like the originals i think mattel has done a great job you've added the more articulation points on the legs and on the arms and the wrists and the head the way you can move your head wonderful wonderful um I feel like at times, like this guy not so much, but I feel like at times when I picked up a handful of these He-Man figures though, or Masters figures, whatever you want to call them, um, however you want to call them, excuse me, not whatever, sorry. I, I'm a He-Man, I call them He-Man, these are He-Man figures. Um, anyway, um, I feel like at times that some of the figures are cheap, like the plastic feels cheap, they feel light, you know. This one feels sturdy feels good i like this one a lot not all of them feel that way um you know when i first opened my first masters uh unboxing was the keldor origins pack or keldor and chronos pack the target exclusive and i was just blown away how great those figures were um then i opened the regular he-man and skeletor i'm like man eh, you know it, it's what gets me on the cheap is like this the shield this isn't the exact same quality of plastic that they used in 1982, 83 when they made these first wave of He-Man. Um, this feels like a cheaper plastic. But as for the figure goes, some of, sometimes a little bit of them feel like their parts of their body feels cheap, um, the plastic. But this one, no. Like I said, this guy, no, he's solid. He is, this is a solid, good, good figure. So they have done a good job. But... You know, I'm not a toy guy or I'm not a toy designer. I'm not, you know, not in that world at all. Um, don't know anybody in that in that line. So, uh, but if it was up to me, my two cents is Mattel's doing a great job. Keep it up. Hasbro got to rethink some stuff in, in a few of your lines, but you're you're could be on the right track. Like I said, GI Joe, when you call it retro collection or whatever you want to call it. G.I. Joe just needs to go back to G.I. Joe. You keep the classified line in the six cents, kind of like the Black Series, and you go back to your regular line. I wouldn't even call it anything. Just G.I. Joe. Restart them. Come back out. Original O-ring style figures, just like same molds and everything. Same build. Put the screws in them. Put the joint, the elbow, the metal rivets in the elbow joints. Go back and do it just like original. Guaranteed, sell sell my hotcakes. Certain figures, don't, you know, don't go, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. You know, don't go out and make a a million dukes. You don't need to buy. You don't need to make a million dukes. You know, make you know, I don't know what the number would be. You know, make two hundred thousand dukes and that's it, or a hundred thousand dukes. Make a million troopers. Multiple people are going to buy that stuff. That's what the, the some people there are people a lot like like me who want a troop build. Well, that's why I bought. I bought five of these. Actually, I have six, but I bought five from Big Bad, which because they were cheaper. Truthfully, Big Lots one was twenty. I bought him on a whim, but you know the rest of these were I think fifteen ninety nine or sixteen ninety nine. So hey, there you go. So sorry about my rant there. Hopefully you decide to stick around and listen to it while I, you know held this guy up and shut him off so anyway guys as always thanks for watching thanks for checking out my attorney and palace guard uh unboxing been waiting to unbox that particular one for months 
um, been sitting right over here for months looking at him all the time so got other stuff over there it's been there a while but I feel like he's been this guy's been here the longest so he's been ready to come out of his box so here he is cool piece cool figure again not in the original line but I'm glad they threw this guy in here so hey guys hit that like and subscribe button you want to watch more of my videos and unboxings as always thanks for watching I'm Beast from Beast Toys we'll see you